For this tutorial, I've created two scenes. Now each scene has some text to identify which scene we're in and a button to change between the scenes. To change between the scenes, I have a script attached to my canvas called Scene Changer. Now if you want to learn how to change scenes in three different ways, make sure to check out the link in the description or in the cards as this is a video I have previously done. So let's learn how to have a script stay between different scenes. If I create a new C Sharp script, and I'm going to call this, let's just call it My Script. Obviously, if you want to apply this tutorial to your own project, you'll want to do this in your script that you want to stay between the two scenes, not a new script. So I'm going to open this script and let's have a look. We've got a start and an update function. I don't need these. Now, your script may have various different things. That's fine. Leave all that. We're not going to touch anything. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to define a new private static variable and this needs to be the script you're currently using. So I've named this script my script. If your script was called, say, character controller, then you, ought, you would want to put character controller. You want to make a reference to the script we're currently on. So let's do my script, and then I'm just going to call this my script, but all in lowercase. So next we're going to want to do void awake, and we're going to want to check if this script is already here. Because if it is, then of course we don't want to create a new instance of it. So let's do if, and then we want to do my script equals null, therefore there it doesn't exist. We're going to want to do my script, or of course whatever you've called this, equal to this. And then we're also going to want to do the don't destroy and load, and then we're going to do the name of this, so this is my script. Finally, we're going to want to create an else statement. We're going to want to do destroy and then game object with a lowercase g and an uppercase o. As this means if it already exists, then we're going to destroy the duplicate. Because otherwise, if we kept going between scenes, we would rack up an infinite amount of this script. Obviously, that's not what we want. So let's save that. Let's go back to our project. And I'm going to create a new empty. I'm going to call this um, my object. And this is the object which I want to stay. So I'm going to center this just so that it is easily identifiable. And I'm also going to put the width and height just to one. So now I'm going to add my script to this object. And what we should find is this object should go to a new section when we run the game. And it should not destroy when I change between the scenes. So let's try this. If I click play, as we can see, don't destroy and load is created. And if we go into it, we can see my object is there. And if I change scenes, we can see the my object is still here. And it hasn't created it in scene two because I haven't set that up. Now, if I go back to scene one, what we want to happen is we want to make sure that it doesn't create a new one, but it does keep this one. So as we can see, there is only one of my object. So we have successfully created an object which we can now have between different scenes, however it does not duplicate if we go to the same scene more than once.